Dandy Ace is an action RPG very much in the same vein as uh, Hades. Uh, there are a number of things that sets it apart. The combat, action combat, is very similar. Uh, Hades isn't the first of its genre. It is an action RPG. Um, this game uses a deck building uh, technique in terms of uh, how you go through your run by grabbing cards, mixing cards, getting synergy between cards by using cards that have, uh, every card has like two two different traits. There is a main use and then there's kind of like a secondary use, an augment use, and I'll explain that as we play. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is kind of frame the uh, the episode today. So we have uh, the single player, uh, well, sorry, it's single player in general, but we, we have the I'm gonna play without Twitch uh, session, which is just normal mode, uh, not Twitch mode. And then we're gonna go into the uh, second half, which I already recorded, uh, which is playing with Twitch mode activated and also cranked up to like 11 with have, giving them just basically complete control over spawning all kinds of crazy stuff and it's complete chaos and madness and everything. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about that uh, while we're doing the single player stuff. Now, you should also note that there is a lot of dialogue and I have it all muted uh, so that way I can talk over it because there's there's a lot of dialogue and you'll hear it in the uh, the twitch edition the twitch version uh, the Twitch session that we're gonna do later uh, so if you notice there's like a, a voice is talking constantly uh, that is of course the uh, the announcer voice and everything that kind of plays along with you as you are uh, playing so uh, let's see. Uh, let's go and go new new run here. We'll start over just so you kind of get an idea. Um, this should uh, just kind of start me over. I, the the one I just did it was just kind of like I was right at the entrance, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, and I'm gonna explain things as we go, so you can get an idea of how this guy separates itself from Hades. Uh, there is a uh, a banquet hall that we're gonna get to that kind of lets you that lets you uh, buy aug buy augments and upgrades and all that good stuff that uh, that continue to progress your character, uh, but not necessarily at the beginning. So you have to make it past this first area uh, in order to get to that point. Uh, so. You have three different or four different color cards. Uh, three, no, three different color cards. Um, you have uh, your blue, blue, pink, and and uh, yellow. And you can pick them up. Boom, boom. And so I have a dash. I have an attack. This one has a third attack. It's a, it's a, it's a stronger attack that explodes. And then I have binds, which is actually a pretty cool ability. Now, before we go anywhere. I can already go through and make some changes to this. This is a maybe if I don't really like one of these abilities. All three of these are just okay, right? They're, they're good abilities. There's the dash you're always gonna get pretty much um, until you guess you unlock more stuff. Um, <clears throat> and the uh, shooting stars, there's a number of different uh, kind of general attacks, like main attacks, you'd probably call them, combo attacks. Um, and then you have your yellows, which are typically like range attacks. They're, they usually have some kind of a stun or something on them or they explode or something to that effect. But I could take this and I can move it down below, and it says right here, it said, adds bind to yellow and blue, adds delusional freedom to pink cards. I don't even know what that is. Uh, delusional freedom does 225 damage to bind to bound enemies. Um, well, since I don't have any other cards that will put, place a bind on anybody, that's kind of useless to put there. If I put it on a blue, uh, it will bind enemies for 1.5 seconds. So let me go and give a demonstration of how that works. So we're gonna find an enemy here, and we're gonna hit him with bind. Boom, stuck, right? Okay, now I'm gonna go take this card and put it underneath my dash. So now that my dash, now my dash, which has no iframes by the way, which can be a bit annoying, uh, will uh, also bind them. So now I can go and I can bump, jump through them. Oops, mess that up. Boom, there we go, now they're bound. See, it's very, very interesting how you can take some of these abilities, the cards, uh, and make them do just different things. So this was adds in power magic, which basically just makes the shit stronger. Adds 275 damage to this thing. So now my uh, my binding chains is gonna do just stupid damage. So just boom, hit that guy and he's done. <laughs> there's a longer there's a longer cooldown on this. It's not really an ability that you wanna that, that uh, you can spam or anything. So it's not really gonna work for us. I love that you can take and change this stuff like right in the middle of a fight. Like this, if I put this here, it adds haste. So if I activate this attack, if I go boom, whoops, let me hit, hit it. Oh, da, 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 da. Boom, I get haste. So let's say maybe you prefer not to run with uh, with a dash to start off. You could just basically crank this thing out and just get haste every three seconds or so. Oh, sorry, ten seconds. <laughs> it's five seconds of haste, so you have five seconds of downtime there. Uh, now this is all stuff that's going to make more sense right now. It doesn't make make a lot of sense, but once you get a lot of cards, then it's going to start being pretty pretty uh, flexible in terms of what you could do. I wish I had a better starting uh, main attack, but it is what it is. So there you go. So uh, enemies will basically spawn as you run into rooms. 
Uh, and you can actually just, and in some cases, you can just move right past them and just let them kind of trail you, pretty much. Um, but, oh god, these guys. Damn bunnies. Oh, shit. But for the most part, you want to clear them in the room that they're in. And there's also times where they can't actually follow you out. Oh, gosh, dang. Uh, so I'm up like four hours into the game. And I was the, one of the one of the complaints that I, I have, and I didn't really have the time we were playing because it's it's like you know playing with Twitch, uh, triggering all kinds of madness is actually quite fun, quite exhilarating, and just absolute freaking chaos. Um, it's much more chill here, but it's still still sufficiently difficult. I thought it was going to be easier not having chat in tow, but it turns out the game still provides quite a challenge because it is um, well because it's just going to be hard, but. Because there are so many cards that are available to you as you upgrade or as you unlock more stuff, um, it seems like it takes, it, it feels like it takes quite a while. I mean, again, you're like four hours in and you, just, you don't really have like a ton of cards. Where the cards you get are just not really that great. Like the most recent one I got was this, uh, was this uh, Binding Chains here. And Binding Chains is pretty great. Pretty great. But it's like my first card I think I've gotten since I started playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the synergy between the cards is really, again, that is what you should look at in terms of, like, this is um, what keeps you coming back and playing the game, right? So, as he adds uh, 225 damage to charmed enemies, uh, but I have no charm, so... Um, and this will, this will replace the bind with uh, charm. Uh, we're going to leave the bind on. We'll go to here, so we'll charm them when we dash through them. It's just the arrow. The arrow is just not the great of an ability. I'll go ahead and show you what it does. Maybe we should just leave it out. So we can, oh, just in case we need it. So we can charge it up and aim it. Charge like this. It'll shoot through enemies. And they'll charm. They'll, when they're charmed, they'll walk towards you uh, without attacking. But it's like 1.5 seconds. It's very, very short. Woo! The game overall, the gameplay is fun, like for sure. Um, I, I would say probably the biggest complaint you're gonna see is the fact that it does feel like it can be pretty grindy because if you tease so many cards are available and then it's very hard to get those cards, then that's a grind. <laughs> that's that's basically a grind. There you go, charm those, those towers so they can't shoot for 1.5 seconds. Ah, right, here we go. We get another card. See, now it's gonna start getting interesting. We got a fist. Dang, we don't get the damn. The, the one that I actually really like is the. Uh, there's like five card spread. It's basically like a spray attack, a conal attack, um, and it's just so flexible. You put it on so many things. But this fist is amazing, actually. So I don't want to play this down or anything. This fist is pretty great because it does vulnerability, uh, and it does a stun for 0.5 seconds. So we could take uh, empower magic, put it here. Now it does stupid damage. Now it's really good. Let's find some things to punch. And it's a tier two. Oh, 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 ah. Yeah, nice. Applying that real quick. Arrow, arrow. Mm. Look at that. Stupid damage. Nope, 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 nope. Not for you. Nope. Woo! Get this guy out of the way. Beautiful. Oh, Toxic Spray. Dang. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. More cards. The more the merrier. Now, there are these doors that are going to pop up here, but I don't have any keys. As a matter of fact, like, I'm, I'm not very far into the game, which is crazy. <laughs> Poor freaking... It's probably because of chat. Mostly because of chat. Because chat just punishes the shit out of me when I play. <laughs> There's little teleports there, too. I don't think I have to explain those. They teleport you around the map. Uh, so you could leave, like, cupcakes and stuff like that, which, are, which is basically your, uh, your health source, your HP pots. And you can come back for them later if you want, which is kind of a nice feature. Dang it. So now my dash will, uh, let's go and change it actually. Oh, ah, dang it. My dash will poison them. Um, let's put this on, let's see, poison here. What is the main attack here? Let's see, poison, 233 damage for four seconds. Oh, that's a lot of damage. What if we put it here and then put broken hearts here? So it does just, uh, oh, there's no charm anywhere though. Hmm. Uh, Broken Hearts tuning into Charm. Yeah, Josh, I need another ability that charms. How about we poison them in place? There, that's what we'll do. There we go. Poison in place. Bound and bleeding. Or, well, bound and a dot. 
And then I come in with the fists. Whoop punch! That's what it feels like. <laughs> there we go. Charmed. Beaten. Bloodied. Beautiful. Nope. Nah. Oh! Those damn rabbits. I swear to God, those ones with the forks or whatever. Just the work. Worse. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Got lots of cupcakes laying around, though, which is good. Whoa. So I will say, though, I'll say this. I muted the announcer because I was like, I talk too much and I want to talk to you guys. But frankly, like, the announcer really adds to the character of the game. Like, it really adds. I'm going to turn it on so you guys can see it because I hear it. Because while he does talk a lot, what we'll do is we'll do normal. Um, it does add to the ambiance of the game. So the character you're hearing, his name is Lele, right? Lele is the master magician that has, uh, who is, you know, uh, uh, more of a rival of yours, not necessarily better than you, um, who has designed this dungeon, the bro the magic mirror, or the broken mirror, the dark mirror, whatever it's called, uh, and he's harnessed the power of this mirror to trap Dandy Ace in this endless, endless uh, a fight where he plans on basically just keeping him in a permanent loop, similar to, like, uh, the final fight in Doctor Strange, right? So... You'll hear him speaking to us, and uh, he's quite comedic, quite funny, actually, uh, which is why I feel like it's kind of missing. I thought I could just talk through the whole thing and just kind of show you guys what's up, but I feel like you, he's also part of this game, part of the story, so let's go and take a listen, if he's guys talk at all. Charge, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's a great way to tell you that you are low on health. All right, so that's actually a pretty good card there. So this is uh, Hex. Ooh, 500 damage Hex? Holy crap. Well, hold on. This is uh, better than... Let me see. Dash forward. 60, 50, yeah, creating an explosion. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll put this here. Get that haste. So we'll get the dash. There we go. And now we're going... So perfect. Dazzling and stunning. Uh, I mean, so boring and unoriginal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, obviously a rival of sorts. <laughs> Trying to pretend. He's pretending that he's he's the guy at the entrance you'll see right over here, and he's pretending that he's not the one who set this whole thing up. So he's trying to yell uh, and be uh, very facetious about everything, saying, you know, it's like, oh, there's a there's a, there's a a, a a cupcake there. You sh probably shouldn't eat it. It's probably poisonous or something. All right, so here we go. So this is your two assistants here. Uh, this is uh, Jolly Jolly, and the other one over here is Jenny Jenny. Right? Jenny Jenny, Jenny Jenny. Uh, personally, I'm a Jenny Jenny kind of guy, but we'll go and talk to Jolly Jolly first. It's nice to see you're still in one piece. Yeah, definitely more of a Jenny Jenny guy. Um, <laughs> so this is where you spend your shards. Uh, it's similar to, like most games like this, this is where the progression aspect kicks in. This is where you start to spend, uh, start to progress and unlock things for your, uh, the kind of, that augment your, your gameplay. Uh, I'm certainly sitting at Crescendo Fireworks here, which is a new ability. I want to unlock that. Um, and then I'm going to go and throw in, you know, some more in. I mean, that's the only one down here. So it's like pink cards. I'm guessing hopefully more unlock or something. Like we could see more that show up down here. Um, I kind of want this game to have like, you know, 25 different like main attacks basically. And then like 25 different other cards. Now, let's see. Card recycle. Like everything's locked. So we'll get that stuff. We see extra card to current one. Okay. Yeah. So I guess we'll get that stuff later. A credit card does what? Let me see. Uh, Ace is going to have extra credit of 2380 to buy cards, so the amount of debt increases as, as he progresses to the palace. Yeah, we could build up some debt. Nah, it's a little too real for me. There we go. Dump that in there. So now we get the card here, and it says Ace shoots missile fireworks. The longer he holds his shot, the bigger it gets. Burn! It does burn. Also, we can add burn damage to other things. Let's go and take a look at this here. We'll move this around. We'll put this here. There we go. It feels like it might be an AoE. Okay, kind of. Okay, okay, yeah, we'll give that a shot. Uh, you get, there's, choose one prize. We only have one so far, because all we own locks. We're very, very early in the game. Here's Jenny Jenny. Do you need me, mister? Mm-hmm, she's my favorite. Uh, 999 coin. Wow, I had a lot of coin. Um, well, we have a number of trinkets here that we can spend them on. Uh, and the trinkets will, you can only choose one. Per, I think per, like, uh, run, or per, per, a visit. Um, 
and each one just does something a little bit different to kind of help you like help you out through your journey right the 10, 10 seconds without taking damage uh then your main card is going to deal 80 more damage but this one is when you lose hp then you deal more damage this one is uh let me see after after killing an enemy then you're going to do more damage so it's just different ways of uh that's for offensive uh of making combat a bit more um i guess more strategic so it's the combat casting, 15% less melee damage, uh, and this one is uh, less damage from, or this one's for less damage from range attacks. This one is when you drop to one HP, you'll get invulnerability. Um, and it says, well, I like what it says, it says the effect resets when Ace hits 100 enemies, which is or kills 100 enemies, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, see, bunny shoots after five seconds, I'll take a damage. Ace's speed is increased to uh, to fifty uh, percent. Tea party. Uh, I've been trying this out lately, and I feel like this pretty much works. This works pretty well. Let's go ahead and jump in this one because basically you get one refill on HP, and I feel like two would be a little bit better. So here is here's mysterious guy. This is Lele in disguise. Well done. You have passed the first test. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't get too cocky. Behind me is the banquet hall. And the enemies are much harder. <laughs> or, or so I've heard. It's fine. I'll probably ace it. Get it? Because my name is Ace. A man of multiple talents, I see. Gotta work on your comic timing, though. It's all in the delivery. Oh, I could use some delivery. Where's the food in the banquet hall? Well, there's food, just not for you. The palace minions, they are always hungry. Be careful not to end up the main course. So yeah, uh, Danny Ace is also There's quite the no himbo. Going back, Dandy Ace. I can feel your despair growing. Just a complete ditz. Uh Jenny Jenny is also in that boat. Jolly Jolly pretty much runs the show. Uh, we've determined this <laughs> to be facts. Oh guys, just try to squeeze in there. Can I just try out this new? Burning. Burning! I'm willing to bet it's in certain levels, certain enemies are probably weaker to that. You perform with such elegance, Dandy Ace. How do you do that? Oh. Like these machine guys. Are they? Oh, you can stack more burn. Look at that. More burn, more burn. Stack them. There we go. Okay. That's cool. I like that a lot. First time using this card, so. We can just stack the burn, uh, the burn dot on them. Several times, it seems. Right on time. I brought you friends, see? Oh, damn. Right behind me. Try to get around these guys. He spawns shit all over the place. No, come on. There we go. That one dropped a, a crystal. So, you see up a little lower left corner. I gained another one there. And they drop from random enemies, so sometimes there's turrets that you want to just pass up, but it's worth it to go back and uh, and kill them. God damn, oh, man. These, these teapot ladies are rough. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of them. So yeah, these turrets, for example, like you can just ignore them, but sometimes they'll drop a crystal, so it's worth it just to go and just take them out. That's a poisonous cupcake. Stay away. See? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just like I told you. It that heals. Wasn't fair. You used a forbidden card. Oh, uh, hold on a second. A tier three. Oh, snap. That just dropped right here. Um, well, let's see. I guess we should probably replace this one with it. So now it does even more damage. Uh, and then adds vulnerability. So if we put it here, it'll increase the vulnerability by another second. Watch. So now it's oh now it's actually 1.5 seconds. Okay, cool. Um that's why when you when you stack the same abilities or the same debuff uh, on a single card, it, it'll just basically increase the duration of it. Uh, but I want empower magic, I want these fists to hit hard. Uh, so this one basically just adds vulnerability. So overall, I think this is probably just a, a card we can just toss now. Um there's really nothing really worth yeah it's nothing really worth it doesn't stack with anything else so we're going to toss that one leave it there and just upgrade it straight up to three Guess who's showing up to come on party. oh enemies. look at that hit Woo. the stun is so good too it just keeps them locked up for a moment they just can't let her get that melee off her melee is so strong This damn thing is really <laughs> hard to catch. It's a little robot. Not another card. Mama's luggage. Keep 
yeah so so do you see what i'm saying like we're starting we're, we're getting upgrades to the cards that we currently have but it also feels like it's because we're just not getting another arrangement no, un, uh, enough of a variety of cards so again that, that's that's kind of the complaint that i have is that you know despite this game being quite stellar in a lot of areas uh, it does feel like it can get pretty uh, pretty grindy oh, damn Whoa. This is great though, like the rooms are, oh god, I was gonna say the rooms are big, you can go all over the place, but then this happens. Oh, we can go over here and get another card. Oh, five of a kind, okay, this is a good card. Okay, hold up, this is a good card. Uh, this is the uh, the fan of knives type, uh, or not fan of knives, I should say, like a conal attack. Um, I would say we probably go ahead and replace this guy with it. Um, We'll still get Broken Hearts, 398 damage to Charmed Enemies. But you know, there's no char Charmed anywhere, so we'll just add Burn. Cool, so now it does- okay, this is good, this is good. I like that a little bit better. Now we get the Burn effect, and we also get the, uh, uh, the Charges, which is pretty great. So a Charges basically it builds up over time. I think it's like 5 stacks, 6 stacks, something like that, and then we just unleash. So we'll see that in a minute here. Like that. And you can see them building up there. Got a Blueprint. Escape artist, but we have to make it to the next. We have to make it to the next area in order for that to actually, uh, uh, in order for us to get that unlocked. It's very similar to like uh, Tower Unite, and actually a bunch of other like turn-based games too. You get a blueprint to get unlocks, stuff like that, but you can't. You can't actually get access to them until you get um, you get out, basically, or they die in there with you. Let's go and pop this now. Yeah, that melee. Uh, nope, no, 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 no. See, yeah, the fan, the fan, this is my favorite weapon for sure, is that. Although, the, the fists are definitely growing on me. Like, the fists, especially when juiced, like, yeah, they're really growing on me. You just keep something stun locked for a while, but you really can't beat when you have a lot of mobs just Evil basically fanning out. Oh, oh gosh, the fork guys. Get them before they, uh, get them, keep them stunned there. Uh-oh. Yep. Try to keep her a distance here. There we go. Guardian fairies found. So we're getting we're getting stuff, but we have to be careful here now, actually. Let me see. Do I have any uh any cupcakes waiting around? Can't go back over here to my friends. So yeah, no, we don't. Okay. Oh, there's a chest over here too, but we can't get there because we need a key that's shaped like a heart or something. Great, so we're stuck here. If, uh, gosh, should I just... How click? is this palace so clean? Okay. I don't see a ah. anywhere. Go, 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 go. Oh, got another one. The burn's gonna get her. Come on. Yeah, that burn stacks 20 deep with those fans. Look at that. Then we lock them up like this. And let them burn. That. Oh man, beautiful, beautiful synergy. Now we're at max health. Let's not waste it. Woo! Oh, baby, we have so much money too. We have so much money. Holy Jesus. Okay. Uh, this is this is a really really nice um uh, stun, uh, AOE star conal attack stun. Let me see, this one is Time Warp. Yes, I mean, I've seen all these cards already. But here, oh, here's a uh, dash that's, uh, oh, it's just, just does more damage. I don't really do a lot of damage with my dashes. Um, Ace pings forward, adds dimensional burst. God, yeah, so here's what sucks. It's like, I, all these are just upgrades to the card. Some of these are upgrades to the card I have, which is nice. And I'm going to spend the money because I'm not going to do anything else with the money. But they're still the same cards that I have. So it's not really a lot of, not a lot of difference there. Or not a lot of variety there. So we'll put this here, uh, upgrade a time warp, uh, or okay, well, time warp versus shocking arrival. Um, the hex, though, I'm not sure if that really sacks with anything else, but I don't have anything else that, that synergizes with it, so Look it's fine. Look at all that useless junk. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see, I will put this here. Ooh, that's pretty nice, actually. Okay, so we'll get rid of the haste, which is fine. And then let's see, do I want to do something with this? The poison is nice. The stun. To add stun to yellow cards. A bind and a stun. 1.5 seconds. 
Li oh, I can't afford it. Never mind. <laughs> All right, we're good. Now we go to, uh, let me see. Oh, right around the corner. You can take one, but can you take all of them at the same okay, time? Okay, so we get them to line up here. And then let's see if I can snap through them. So now they're hexed and they're, yeah, there you go. They're taking damage. Good. We can utilize this. Oh, right into that. Go. Try to keep on the other side. <laughs> Sap through them. Beautiful. Oh, oh, uh, bubble trouble. Yeah, okay. So this one, um, uh, you basically charge it up and it'll fire like a giant bubble and it's very slow. This is not as exciting. Hey, look at this. I think it's the first time. I think this is the first time I've made it to this, to the second uh, banquet hall. This actually might be a decent run. <laughs> this might, might be a decent run after all. Or maybe I have actually. So I believe now my, um, I believe now the, uh, uh, uh blueprint save here, maybe? Uh, let's go and grab this for a forget. Great to see you, Mr. Ace. I don't know because I haven't been here before, second time, so. 25, I can go right into the, ah, blue cards, guardian fairies, there we go! See, now it's gonna start getting interesting. Leaving a nauseous cloud behind, 325, guardian fairies, ace summons three fairies, to protect ace from projectiles, ooh, weakness, bullet ward, adds weakness. Um, I'm not gonna put anything in it just yet because uh, I wanna put, I'm gonna get everything else unlocked if I can. So card recycle, um, I can actually I'll straight up unlock this right now, so let's go and do that. There we go. Now we get reward 10 extra card. Your reward doesn't have X one extra card. I like it. I like it. Of course, the... Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's great. Awesome. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Girl. What am I going to get next? Credit card. Ace can have a credit card up to 4,373 to buy cards. The amount of debt increases as Ace progresses through the palace. Um, yeah, sure. Let's get that. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Um, so wait, I if just... If I ever I, run into that limit... Oh, I'm sorry. Not you. Not you. Hey, Mr. Ace! So I can just, like, buy stuff? Uh, we'll see. Probably, I'm obviously in the match. Oh, also, he'll tell you, he'll give you a little secret, on, or give you info on what's coming up next, by the way. It begins. He's kind of like the skeleton. The I can't remember his name. The skeleton in Hades. Interesting. <laughs> well, that's a huge wave. Whoa, that's another huge wave. I don't know where you are, but you have to die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these little guys here. No, I need the cupcake just yet. Whoa! Dang it. Okay, now I need the cupcake. Oh, now I definitely need the cupcake. Both cupcakes. Where did you buy your amazing outfit? You look so dapper. He's so jealous. He's so jealous. Of my character. Oh god, yeah, the the uh, the fans ability doesn't necessarily lock it down or or anything like that. So, oh, these guys got a little dodge. Oh, that's a trap. Event Horizon. You shouldn't just rely on good looks if you want to survive. Oh damn. Those guys are strong! Those little dudes! I'm gonna push him on top of that. I'm gonna wait to see if I get my hands on another cupcake. Got them all lined up. Oh god! Lined up, lined up, lined up! Burn them, burn them, burn them, burn them, burn them! Oh. No magician ever died in his bed. No magician ever died in his bed. <laughs> so, that is what happens in single player. All right, blueprints lost. So I only lost the blueprints that I got in that that last uh, chamber or whatever. Uh, if we go back to the beginning, let me see. I believe we can see there's like a map. We can see our progress. And I can show you guys that. But the game is really good about just getting you right back into the game. Right, like it's basically just like boom, 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 and then we go do another run. Like there's no waiting, there's no waiting. Uh, and also notice it's giving me the new card here. So 
So I guess I guess you just have to get it past the first couple floors and then you can start unlocking stuff. Um, but I mean, again, I'm, 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 now I am now I am. Let me see, I am uh, uh, three hours into the game. So I thought it was more than that, but um, three hours into the game and uh, you know clearly there's more cards uh, unlocking for me. So it's not too bad, but really, really the cards, some of the cards need some balance though, because that fan is so good and you see, you synchronize it or you synergize it with other cards and it just becomes godlike. You, when you play, um, trust me, that and the fist are going to be the two cards you're probably going to want to play with the most. So let's take a look at this. You'll see how far I've gotten. Uh, I've gotten, uh, let's see, Banquet Hall, Courtyard, uh, Central Hall. Uh, so I've gotten past, uh, I didn't go to the Courtyard, right? I went to the Banquet Hall and then I went to the... Uh, Central Hall, I believe, and I didn't even make it out of the Central Hall, so so there it is. Oh no, I went to the Art Gallery, that's right, because those ones are not unlocked, or they're not behind locked doors. So I was very close to getting to the first boss. I will get there eventually. Uh, not with not with uh, chat's help, but you can see that there is definitely a lot of uh, there's a, a huge amount of content here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with uh, with uh, the earlier me recording with chat, and you guys can enjoy the multiplayer run. My name is Mike BAK Phony. Uh, introducing Mike VAK Phony. <laughs> Game's called Danny Ace. I'll let uh, old me take care of, take it from here. Welcome, everybody, <laughs> to the Twitch version of <laughs> of these rides. We're gonna see what happens when we're in I'm ultra sure chaos mode. Everything's on super low, super low cooldown. Allo bro and chat is now Lele. Oh, I got the fist. Oh, I shoot my abilities before we started. What is that? Okay, is that? Oh gosh, so you see the Allo bro. Enemies appear. Much more randomness. Oh god, I hate this ability. It's so short. Look at it, I gotta hug that guy. Ah! You can see the abilities that they, they also cast with the Twitch logo showing up. And, the cool, and now I've locked, I'm locked out of an ability. Oh my god, this is chaos. Oh! What you don't see is chat is spamming numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Which is great for interaction! <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna kite, I'm just gonna kite, I'm just gonna kite. Stay alive, stay alive. Oh, oh there's a left, there's a aftershock. They can also give me cupcakes. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is a lot. This is a lot, a lot. Oh my, oh my god! <laughs> I'm never gonna make it out of the first room! <laughs> oh, there's so much! Give me that cupcake! Next room! Nope. There, there, there. Let's go before they spawn something okay, else. Oh, thank you, a card. Okay. Please give me a good card, chat. Please, left-hand side, you can see all the things that they're choosing. Which I haven't even looked at once, because every time I'm up... Oh, every time it's up, there's always chaos going on the screen. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Oh, take that, Alabro. Take that, Alabro. Look at this. Look at this. Just getting manhandled. Okay, passion. Charmed. Oh, ouch. Oh, and a cake. Thank you. Thank you. Is this a good one? Yes, it is. Himes is now Lele. Locked out of my tea. Fuck. Poisonous cloud. Doesn't matter what you got from the Another chest. card. Twitch Who's is gonna choose his card. Anyway. They can choose a good one for me. That's <laughs> off limits. Locked and door. Never find the key. You are trapped. <laughs> Oh! 
Oh, I'm locked out of my main. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't attack. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, card. Let's see if this kills me. Oh, it heals me up. Good. So we have 200 HP we've come back to later on. Ooh, a red door. Oh, diamond. Ah, oh, okay. Evil creatures of the past, assemble! Whoa. Ooh. The green cards to spawn are also chats. They do a good job of showing us who, who, oh gosh. Of making it clear what chat is doing because of the uh, the Twitch, the Twitch logo that shows up briefly. Oh God, as he's respond. Uh, the time bullshit. Uh, even projectiles go slow. Look at this. You guys are giving YouTube a pretty good uh, a pretty good demonstration, guys. You guys are doing great, chat. Just take it easy on me, we get to the first boss for once. Oh man, man, let me eat all these things. So right now, you can see in the, up, uh, in the left corner, or left side, they're in chat right now. Just basically, a few of them are spamming Lele that want to be Lele. And then, Jairul wins the vote. Black hole. No, it's the other car that should have been blocked. Is this thing working? Death, he says. Death. Ah, uh, no game. death for you. Make them stronger on the next one. No death for you. Ah, uh, I know. So now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna remember this time to eat. <laughs> Um, can we get on with our lives yet? Boom. We'll spend all these. Card recycle, credit card, crescendo. Let's see, Ace shoots a missile fireworks. A new purple card would be kind of nice. Oh, and a good day to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> protagonist fist. I do like protagonist fist. And then he would go before we go. Let's take a look at our cards real quick. Let's see, empower magic. Whoa, 275 damage. Oh, okay, that's where the exit damage is coming from. Now, hold on. Uh, what if I switch these things? Uh, adds vulnerability. Mm, to shooting stars? Let me see. The third star explodes. Ooh, this could be pretty good. The first one will add vulnerability and the third one will explode. We'll try that. Oh, shooting stars tier two. Uh, empower. Oh, you know what? Can we add that? Adds empower magic. Oh, okay. That should be nasty. That should be nasty. Let's go and do this for the bomb then. Ooh. I demand a refund. I know. I'm sorry. You're already out. You're already out. Woo! Just don't lock me out of this card. <laughs> that third attack is vicious. Alabro. Perform with such elegance, Dandy Ace. So do you, my. Ah. These people in the chat want to see you get ah. You can hear Lele commenting about people in chat. Your subscribers must hate you, stuff like that. Which is not true, right? <laughs> oh, God. Your tea potion went sour. You're lucky that I blocked it for you. Oh man, you sons of bitches! Yes. Now you can use your finest card. Oh fuck! <laughs> My main attack blocked. We're gonna keep moving. <laughs> oh, what is that? That looks bad. Whoa! Oh great. Ah! Poisonous cupcake! Stay away! 
Okay, we're gonna make some changes here. Uh, oh crap, no, I can't get melee on these guys. Oh god, no, I can't do melee on these guys. It's too, too much. Um, let's do this. Let's add it to the bomb. And then the vulnerability to the stars. There we go. So I can hit him with stars first. The explosion's gonna tag all of the vulnerability. Then, what is this, 200? Okay, good, we'll come back to that. So let's try to dodge. <laughs> So this, this is, this. so something is empowering them, is I see. Damn, you guys blocked my good card now. <laughs> no, get out! Okay, what is, oh, it's death thing down there. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> <feel. laughs> okay, let me get over there! Let me get over there! Come on, no, come on, come on, come on, clear up, come on, clear up. Come on. Oh, it hurt me. Dang it. Can I go to this next spot? No, I can't. Who is going to be Lele next? Oh, thank you. That might, well, I don't know if that's actually real yet. I'll hold it, thanks, till I know. Oh, ouch. Oh, just hitting that, hitting that uh, bomb a little too early. Oh, man, it's real pain for it, too. Shit, shit, shit. Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. That was barely a challenge. Next time you'll see. Uh, heals. Oh, thank God. Yeah, the heals really do help the run along, for sure. Which makes That's single player definitely more challenging, just, again, less chaotic. Far, 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 far less chaotic. Um, but also being yes, surprised with random mobs on top oh, of other mobs that are already spawning, that's also tough. Like, that shouldn't be, uh, we shouldn't play that down at all. Oh, God. That's a cool card. Cool looking card. Oh, give me out. Your tea potion, Dandy Ace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I can't use it right now, anyways. Get into that. I'm gonna try to get to that. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Ugh. What is it? She's a powerful arrow. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a poisonous one. Oh, you got the dicks. I did all this backtracking. <laughs> Oh, uh, what is this? What is this? Uh, oh, Binding Chains. That looks neat. Let's grab it. <laughs> I can't believe you bought that card. What a, f what a fool. Let's see. Um, so let's add... Let's see, what is this? Sugar Dandy. What does it do? Adds charm to yellow blue and blue cards, broken hearts to pink cards. Let's do that here. 299 damage to charmed enemies. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's pretty good. Um, because, yeah, this will charm them. So I hit him with this first. Does extra damage, charms them, then combo with this, and that's gonna do a, a lot of damage. Um, and this just adds vulnerability to, let me see, binding chains, bind them for three seconds. Let's do that with the dash. We could dash through them and they'll stay still. Fool. Maybe. I think that's a good combo. What does this thing do? Unlock, oh, when you visit Nif's tent. Got it. Okay, let's go. I've been thinking of redecorating lately. Too much pain. Oh man! Ah, oh six! You know you don't Ooh, six health! Six health, baby! Ah! 
Should I rule? Oh gosh, should I rule. Oh, it's a bad move. One less card for you than the Oh my 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 pop card. Oh, there's more. Oh! Funny. Oh man! <sighs> uh. So as you can see, YouTube hooking it up to Twitch makes it more chaotic. It's still very challenging either way, but just and you can see they're just talking all kinds of smack. Uh, it's still very, very, very challenging. So that's it, Dandy Ace. A very, very solid take, especially if you have, like, even, like, three viewers, you could totally pull this off and just have an absolute blast. My name is Mike BAK Phony, Dandy Ace, available now on Steam. I'll see you guys.